Welcome to the fourth episode of Carp Adventures. Uh, I do apologise, it's been a, it's been a long time. Um, basically over the winter period, um, I haven't fished because I didn't think my gear was up to scratch. So I've just been up, updating all my stuff. Um, I'll show you in the morning what I've got. I've been here for about three hours, four hours. I've got three rods out on the water. Um, I've had a run already, so it's looking positive. Um, I'm only at my uh, local my local pond, which is actually on camp, uh, which is good, and I only work over the road, so it's fantastic. It's only small, I mean it's tiny, but there's a couple of 20 pounders in here. Um, I'm here with Rob. He's um, he's brought his lad down, so uh, you know it's just a bit of a, a 24 hour just to test see if my kit works. I've got a big one coming up at the end of this month. Um, I was going to do the blog then, but I thought I'd do one now. It's been a while. Uh, I'm actually going to a place called uh, Etang Roo, which is in Belgium. Uh, for an army match, uh, which should be brilliant. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Uh, and this is where I was actually going to do my blog. But, you know, it's all fun and games. Um, stay tuned and I'll let you know what I've got. Well, it's um, it's just after half seven in the morning. And uh, last night, I got myself a fish, didn't I? Boom! Ten pound, ten ounce common. Uh, Rob's took some pictures. So hopefully you see him after this. Uh, well chuffed. But as I say, I'll, um, I'm going to get back to uh, checking my rods. I'm not going to bring in. I'll probably bring in about nine o'clock. And then um, what I'll do is um, I'll show you the kit I've got. Uh, and I'll take you over to Rob's peg as well and show you what kit he's got. See you later. Rob getting the uh, getting the breakfast on. Morning. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> bacon sarnies. For winners, ain't they? British Army lives on bacon sarnies and tea. Brewskis. Show you where Rob's kit is. He's all out with his new hats. And his regal big pits. Or Regal Plus, it's not the big the hybrids, aren't they? Yeah, it's a bit of an hybrid. And uh, from here, from the weather, from where that boy is there, we split the lake in half. So uh, Rob has got all this side, and I've got all that side. Well, saying that, he goes about like that, tree to tree. I've got that side. Rob's got all this side. So. Um, it's all good. Beer can. Beer can. What's that, Ben? What's this? Camera, man. Catches your soul. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's also on the. Uh, yeah, he's also on the zig float as well. Your hands in your pockets. <laughs> well, uh, as promised, uh, I said I'll show you my kit that I've got. Um, it's about nine o'clock. Um, I'm trying to hold out not to bring my rigs in. I mean, my right hand one's been out for well since I've been here. Uh, it's just my middle and my left, uh, and obviously a caught fish on my left. Changed that rig last night. Uh, I've, I've had had a beep in the night, um, but about it, but I'm getting a lot of fish topping. Then my swim, but I'll show you my kit anyway. Here's my um, here's my bivy, the Fox Eclipse, two point five man euro. Absolutely a monster of a bivy. Awesome, loads of space inside. Uh, my rods, still you got the Fox Ranger XTs. But I've got the uh, Shimano XT 10,000 RA bait runners. Um, so I've christened my left hand one, just my right hand one to go. And my Fox EOS R's. Awesome alarms. Well, it's just coming up to uh, 10 to 12. I've had a, I've had a roach since um, since my last my last blog, and that was on the uh, middle rod, the feeder rod again. Uh, same, I haven't touched my right hand rod, rod since I've uh, since I put it in last night. Uh, I've had nothing on my left since since I caught that um, common. 
Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes later on, but I packed away my bivvy, so uh, all I've got left now is just, just my rods out at the moment. But yeah, it's a good little, uh, it's a good little pond this is, say it's only uh, 30 euros a, a, a year. And I only live round, uh, round the corner, so it's not too bad. But just chilling out there, bivvy's away now. Pain in the arse to put away, because it's absolutely massive. And uh, Rob's just down there, I think he's packing his kit away. Um, He's had a few bites, but he's had nothing out. I, mean, I think the water temperature is still a bit too cold. Um, obviously, yesterday was 18 degrees, so the fish were playing a little bit. But it doesn't seem like they're playing now. So, yeah, not a little bad 24-hour sesh. Um, next weekend will be at the Pierre de Resistance, as I keep on saying. This will be the army match. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be paired up with a guy called Scouse Walker. Um, he's also a very good carp fisherman, from what I hear. And, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on then. But I'm going to be doing one in about an hour. I'll let you know if I catch anything else. If not, um, stay tuned for next week. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a good one.